this is the current hot water system on my house so it's a continual gas system from Renai and it's been in operation for about 20 years so I'm looking to upgrade to something which is more energy efficient and also uh, one thing that I didn't like about this continuous gas system was that when you turn the tap on it does probably take about between 10 to 20 seconds before you actually get any real hot water coming out the tap. The Renault Infinity does have a control panel. So this control panel will become, I guess, uh, obsolete when we do upgrade. So the reclaim heat pump and also the hot water tank has been installed. So just waiting for the electrician to run a new uh, dedicated circuit for it. I have a wife and kids that take quite long showers, so I decided to go with the 400 litre tank. Okay, so the system has just been turned on for the first time. So I've been told that roughly uh, in about three hours, I should have some hot water. That's about the noise level of the fan on the heat pump. So it has only actually been about uh, 30 minutes, but we do have hot water already. I'll just take you through the heat pump controller. So Normally it would run in uh, OS default option 1, which is basically it is in what is called temperature control mode for 24 hours a day. So what will happen is that um, if the water drops to a, a temperature of 37 degrees, it will then switch on the heat pump and then heat up the water until it's 59 degrees and then switch off the heat pump. So if you push the middle button here, it will display the temperature in the tank, of the water in the tank, uh, which operation mode you have. So I have option one, which is basically running 24 by seven, and now it's switched back to displaying the temperature. So at the moment, it's uh, the water is 58 degrees within the tank. So the button here cycles through the menu options So if you need to set the time, so these is the options that you can uh, cycle through. And this is stat to display the status of uh, the remote control here. So if I just keep cycling through, so I won't set the time. I'll take you through the possible options. So if you enter here, there's option one, which is what I have it on, which is running uh, 24 by seven. Option two is an off-peak option, so it doesn't start until uh, 10 o'clock at night, and then it runs, I believe, for um, nine hours from there. Then option three is another off-peak option. It starts up 
at midnight and then runs for six hours. Option four will be the option that you will use if you had solar panels. So it would turn on uh, during the day at 10 a.m. and operate for six hours. And option five is if you want to actually set your start and end times yourself. So if you re want to really customize it, you use option five. So I'll just, uh, oops, I'll switch it back to option one, which is to have it operating 24 by seven. And the final button here is if you want to uh, enable boost mode, but basically if you push this button, it would turn on the heat pump and heat up the water until it's 59 degrees. So if I turn it on now, it will flash. And the heat pump powers on. So now heat up my water until it's 59. So at the moment it's 58, so hopefully it won't actually operate very long. So far I am happy with the system. It does the job and it delivers hot water quickly. Coming from the continuous gas system, I actually find now that this reclaim system delivers hot water quicker. So before with the gas system, I would um, turn the tap on and it might probably be, I'll say about 20 seconds before I'll actually have hot water coming out of the tap. Whereas with this system, I'll say it will only be about 10 seconds before I have hot water coming out of the tap. The other thing I have found is that the marketing material is pretty accurate. So they state that they have a clever way of heating the water in the tank from like a top down approach. And because of this, um, they say within 20 minutes, it's able to give you about 50 liters of hot water already. And I found this to be the case. So uh, from a completely off state, roughly about within 30 minutes, there was enough hot water for me to take a shower. And also from, from a completely off state, uh, roughly it took about three hours for it to completely uh, heat up the water in the in the tank up to the 59 degrees, which I think is uh, actually quite quick. During its normal operation cycle, it, when it drops to the 37 degrees in the water tank, it, the heat pump will turn on and it will roughly take about 2.5 hours of operation to bring it up to the 59 degrees which I think is quite reasonable. I'm located in Canberra in the ACT and I'm actually also a client of Actu AGL and at the moment there is actually an offer on to upgrade uh, your hot water system to something which is more energy efficient. So I am actually able to get $500 off the purchase price and then I'll also actually get another bonus uh, $250 credit uh, in my uh, electricity bill. Now to the cost of the system. So this will vary significantly for everyone, depending on many factors. You might have a property with a difficult installation, or um, for me, I required uh, electrical work to upgrade to a double power point. I also was advised that it would be best if I got a dedicated circuit, which I also went with. 
overall total cost was $5,020. Within that, I had a $500 upfront credit. This is a graph from the Axmat household. So to give you a rough idea, your hot water energy cost is roughly about 16% of your total energy bill. So what I will do in about uh, six months time, when I have some bills to compare, I'll uh, compare the cost of my gas and electricity bill now to previously. So previously with the continuous gas system, my gas bill would have been high and hopefully now what will happen is my gas bill will drop down low and my electricity bill will go up slightly. And then hopefully I'll be able to work out a rough time frame before I recoup the cost of my initial $5,020. So thank you for watching, hopefully you found this video helpful.